Number one, cartoonist. I wanted to be a cartoonist up until I was 15 years old when I first got the idea to pursue music professionally in the ninth grade. And um, I always used to draw in, in, in my textbooks and do all kinds of cool stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like uh, my teachers would be really pissed with me because <laughs> I would have more drawings and work in my textbooks or in my notebooks. You know what I mean? I was just like that kid that always kind of zoned out and I just you know I feel like I have this like a really really intense imagination you know and that's where wanting to be a cartoonist came out because I feel like I could draw anything that I imagined and that I imagined <laughs> that's funny yeah so wanted to be a cartoonist up until I was 15. Number two bribery for Jordans my mom was my music teacher in the seventh grade when I went to school um to, to her middle school for one year and um I've tried to force myself to be in a band so I didn't have to be in her choir just because I didn't want to sing and I didn't want my mom as my teacher, of course. I was at the point where I was going to fail that class unless I got switched to choir. So I had to go in my mom's class and like, she always like, baby you can sing, you need to just stop playing and just start singing and you know you can sing. I used to be like all shy, like no I can't, like stop pressuring me, but then like, it was just one this one situation where we, my mom was putting on a concert and um, we were performing, we were singing um, I Believe I Can Fly as the last number of the concert. And she had um, one kid do the, the first verse and she wanted me to do the second verse. And the second verse was like the best verse of the song I felt like, you know what I'm saying? And, but it was like a solo in front of like parents and students and like, you know, faculty and I was like, man, like I'm so nervous, like, but you gotta come with it. What you gonna hook me up with if I do this for you? And she said she was buying me these jump mans. Right then, in that time, the jump mans just came out. If anybody remembers those, they were like, um, they just came back out actually. But back then, they were just so fresh. I was like, oh man, all my friends had them. And back then, like Jordans was like a rare thing. Like my mom, we just didn't have it like that. You know what I mean? I didn't get Jordans like that. I maybe had maybe when I was young, two or three pairs of Jordans. You know what I mean? So she said yes, and I said cool, and I did a solo of I Believe I Can Fly in the seventh grade, and still to this day, those kids at that school that I was in school with that year hit me up on Facebook and be like, I remember when you sang I Believe I Can Fly, and I'll just be like, oh man, <laughs> people still remember that, so I just hope that there's no footage floating around. Oh, I know my mom has something, but don't worry, next time I go back to Cleveland, I'm going to make sure I take care of that. Number three, cheeseburgers. I probably eat four to five cheeseburger meals a week. And that's just like not even, I don't even think that's a rough estimate actually. I feel like I definitely eat more cheeseburgers. But I'm actually trying to, um, you know, watch my figure. So instead of eating eight a week, I'm just trying to do like four or five. You know, because you know, I'm trying to lose some of the weight. You know, I gotta watch my figure. You know? so, so when I do like, you know, music videos and stuff. And when I want to come out my shirt like Flo Rida, right round, right round. You know, I can do my, my thing. Yeah. <laughs> Number four, non-athlete. Um, I'm not athletic in any way, shape, or form. It's just not my deal. Um, in Hawaii, um, Kanye and them play basketball every morning before studio, and I never go. <laughs> and I remember the first time he asked me, he said, man, you want to play with us? And I was just like, um, <laughs> I can't play basketball, <laughs> and I was just like really, you know, I felt bad about it, but you know, it's me, you know, I, I was always a artsy kid, you know, like I said, I was into cartoons and drawing, like I was, I wasn't an athlete, and that wasn't my deal, you know, I was the guy that was kind of chilling in the bleachers, trying to get all the athletes, girls, that were at the games, watching them play ball, <laughs> so yeah, man, um, not athletic in any way, shape, or form, but like I said, I play a mean game of dodgeball. If anybody wants to challenge, holler at me. We could do like a celebrity match. Anybody want to challenge me, just let me know. You can write this down in the memos. Dodgeball champion, all-star league, holler at me. <laughs> Number five, Tenacious D. The D is probably the most incredible band ever. I love Jack Black. He's just the illest. He's probably like 
when I think of Jack Black, it's like you just think of like overall talented on all levels. Like, you know, he can do comedy, he can do drama, he can do the music. Like, even though it's like Tenacious D music is kind of like silly and stuff like that, but like they're really singing those songs. Like, they really put those songs together. The instrumentation, all that stuff is just like on point. And it's, it's really it's really creative. And, you know, I think he's a genius. Kyle Gass is funny as hell. Um, and both of them two together is just like, the next thing for me is the Scott Might Fall single. It's coming soon. Um, we just finished the song in Hawaii. Um, the video is gonna be really, really, really next level. Me and Ye have been brainstorming. And uh, all I can say is that like, when we're in the studio and when we're just chilling and brainstorming and trying to come up with ideas for anything, we usually have movies playing. And when we were thinking of the Sky Might Fall video, we were watching Close Encounters of the Third Kind. So that should just put you in the mind frame of how we're going to really try to execute Sky Might Fall visually and um, how we're going to keep the theme, the cinematic theme for my album. And, and I'm just excited about it. So you guys check out that and check out my blog, KidCuddy.com. Um, Man on the Moon coming in August. We'll get you a specific date soon enough. And um, yeah, that's what it is, Kid Cudi. You'll be seeing more of me for sure.